Alright, so uh, yeah. Hello everyone. And especially hello Mr. Andrew. Now you know what I'm probably doing. I'm just gonna have to uh, this is uh, a video which is gonna cover over gender roles and uh, I'm gonna talk about well gender roles. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a few things about gender roles. So probably wondering why did I choose gender roles? Because you know, gender roles has been has been going on for a long, quite period of time, and uh, since since I was a kid, uh, you know, I've been seeing a lot in our in my society, you know, in my community. I've been seeing it a lot, especially you know the stories when you know sit down and you listen to your parents or sometimes you know you listen to your grandparents you know they tell you those kind of stories you know their their experience towards those kind of situation and you know, it has been going on since the 18th century or probably even older than that uh, you know we used to know that women and men has been divided uh, from that period of time has been divided you know into two sections no no not, not, not like divided into sections it's like divided according to their tasks like for example women uh, as you know as you and me you and I know that women are supposed to do things or tasks that are light like uh, not like tasks that requires effort or power or strength for example men would have to go through you know uh, going through out you know, go out and do heavy stuff you know like uh, have to take risk have, you know, have to sacrifice their life for something you know they have to go out and usually you know try to support the family well both emotionally and Financially, well, as women are supposedly meant to stay at home, they have to take care of their kids, and so on, so on. Well, bef before we before we reach our goal into understanding what is gender role, we have to we have to know like we we gotta know the definition first. We gotta know the definition. Uh, we gotta know the impact it has on the society, and we gotta know that there's the, the, the origin. Now, what is general? According to Planned Parenthood, which is a website I found while I was browsing through the internet, uh, they said that general means how we are expected to dress, speak, and do our daily thing by our assigned sex. Now. What, according to the definition, gender role is basically saying that men and women have a specific role for that have a specific role which are designed accordingly to their sex or accordingly to their gender. For example, if you're a boy, then you have to do this blah blah blah. If you're a girl, you have to do this blah blah blah. So on. Whereas the origin the origin of gender role uh, has been going on since 16th mm, well 16 well no, no 19 1970 or 1980 but that's when researchers start to look on gender roles but if you talk about like gender roles when it just started that's basically the creation since dawn of man time you know since those time of ages so yeah and the impact now that we're gonna head on to the impact the impact yes it it, 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 it has a lot of affection throughout the society and it's basically it affects both economic and social like for example, if I'm going to, for example, for a person, for example, male or a man is going to work 
and a woman's going to work, a man's going to work, that's fine. But if a woman's going to work, that's not fine. That's that, in in the eyes of human being or other, for example, you and me, that 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 that, that may be considered fine. But in society, no. Nah. Men, you get your butt to work. That that's fine. But a woman, no. You stay home. You protect your child. You cook your food for your husband. All this kind of stuff. That is that is called stereotypes, and yes, gender roles are derived from stereotypes, and which leads to what we know now as sexism. And this is really bad. This is extremely bad. Like you're basically being racist to a particular gender, and not uh, giving credits to another gender. This is really bad. You know, I mean, just think about it logically. Like men and women, they're both they're both human. You know, men and women, they both eat, you know, they both sleep, they both work a job, they both have, basically have the same goal to support their family, to protect their children, you know, to just, their goal is just to see tomorrow. We have all have, we all have the same goal. So why would, sh why should we be racist towards it? Or why should we be you know, like, well, sexism is not right, you know? So, basically, it's like you're having a... It's, it's bad. So, gender roles are, yeah, like I said, gender roles are derived from gender stereotypes, which leads to sexism. And therefore, there, there are four main types for that they uh, that society classify us so when you were born society classify you accordingly to your personality traits your appearance your behaviors and as well as your occupation for you know men in society the way society see it men are supposed to you know men are supposed to be strong you know they, they're supposed to be aggressive supposed to work at a high paid job, they're supposed to, you know, look be tall and mass and muscular, whereas women on the other side, fragile beings, emotional, you know, not so good at work. They're, they're, they're not considered to be the same as men. But in reality, we see men nowadays, they're looking pack. You know, they're, they're, sometimes some women are muscular. So even women can be, you know, they can be elected as president. You know, they can work as a high role in society. Uh, they can work as pilots. Yeah, e even firefighters or yeah. Whereas men on the other side, they can they can work as teachers. You know, or they can work as a mailman. You know, all, all those type of stuff. And before I head on to the solution, I'm just gonna have to make this quick. I have to show you the perspective of each of the person that has their own idea according to that has their own idea to gender roles. First one I'm have to point out LGBTQ plus. Now those type of person they believe that you now it doesn't matter if you're gay, lesbian, or you're boy or girl. It doesn't matter at all. As long as you can do your job, as long as you can fulfill your own purpose in this life, you're good. You're good to go. It doesn't matter if, you know, it doesn't matter if you're gay, like I said, you're gay, lesbian. No, as long as you can, as long as you fulfill your, your role as a human being, as long as you're happy about it, you're comfort about it, comfortable about it, you're good to go, you know? And as for elderlies, they, why well, I picked elderlies that, you know, they've gone through a lot. They know the situation. And as well as parents too, I picked parents too. Parents and elderly, they've gone through a lot. They know what was going on. They know they know the consequences, so they know what's they, what they know what they're gonna teach the child about. That's what that that's actually the role of parents and elderly. You know, in Cambodia nowadays, elderly, the general roles the roles of elderly and parents are basically to assist their kid into becoming their future. You know, to come to fulfill their dreams, to fulfill their ch their children's dream. Now, the solution. I'm gonna head on to the solution. The solution. It, it's situ it's situational. It's quite situational. For example, if you're at school, 
you know you might want to use some not not direct pronoun or adjective you know want to use something that everybody considered to be equal for example everyone or anyone or you know as well as an occupation too occupation you can you can choose something that's uh, you know equal for example fire firefighters instead of firemen you can choose firefighters or you know all this kind of stuff and in workplaces you can use some really good adjective like collaborative instead of aggressive or the best or anything just use something that 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 both men and women have the same and the last one is please do not be shy and point it out we are in society you saw that could kind of stuff point it out you know just if if you, you know, don't be afraid of the critics because if you're afraid of the critics that means the society has power over you you know you're nothing so what you want to do is you want to be the best the best role model for the rest of the people to look onto that's what you want to do and yeah so in conclusion men and women can be anything can be anything they want to be you know, as long as it's not above the law, you know, as long as it's not against or above the law, men and women should have the same rights and freedom. And yeah, that's what I believe. So thank you for all those viewers, especially my teacher. Thank you and have a great day.